Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And today's video is just a quick one and I wanna talk about our summer bucket list. Um, we have been always known for hiding in the summer holidays. As soon as the school kids are out in force, we disappear. Um, and it's been like that since the kids were really, really small. We would just, just, just not see people, not go places. Someone said, hey, do you want to go to the zoo? We would be the first ones to go. Um, no, thank you. However, this year I kind of want to change that. Um, I doubt we're going to be um, heading off to the Oceanarium um, on a Saturday in the summer holidays it's just not going to happen but I would still I would like to kind of get out and about a little bit more and to help us do that I have created a summer activities bucket list um it, it looks backwards in here because I'm filming on selfie mode on my phone uh but it, it is <laughs> it's uh normal it's normal when I look at it and I have included a link to a downloadable version of a blank one for you to fill in and you can edit it um on canva if you have a canva account or you can just write in it um so i'm going to tell you some of the things we've got on our list so some of these include local places to us so if you are local to the new forest or maybe you're planning to come down for a visit um then make sure that you add these things to your list too so the first one on our list is key haven and key haven is a um and kind of an area not too far away from our home that has a nature reserve. We are members of the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust. It has a nature, they're one of their nature reserves is there. It also um, leads to Hurst Castle, uh, which uh, look it up, it's a really, really cool um, old fort. And um, I haven't been there since I was a kid, so I would love to take my kids there. I don't think they've ever been, so I think they're gonna really like it. Next on the list is go to the Splash Park in a few towns over we have this really cool splash park we've been twice already so far since it opened at the end of may and i'm really excited to take them back oh, i'm yawning like a pro today uh, we probably won't do this once the schools break up because it'll just be way too busy but we have been enjoying some time there with friends um a couple of times already and we're going to keep going until the schools break up and then we'll take a rest Albert yelling at me at the top of his lungs. Uh, the next one is Hengsbury Head. Um, this is somewhere we've already been already. We did some kite flying um, with my dad. We built a kite and um, and then went and flew it. I also had some shopboard kites, just in case it didn't work, but it did. It actually worked better than the shopboard kites, which was amazing. My dad, so happy. Uh, he was really worried it wasn't gonna work. And then when it did, he was just so pleased. Um, so I wanna go back there and fly kites again um, with them. But also there's a, a really, there's a Coast Guard station on top of the, the Hegensbury head, the actual head bit, which is like a hill. Um, and then there's also a land train that you can have a ride on. There's a nice beach and there's a museum as well, which has got loads of, um, artifacts, uh, geological artifacts and archaeological artifacts that have been found in the local area. So um, I really want to go there with the older two because um, Albert went on Friday with my dad. He had a great time. He loved it. So I was like, let's all go back and we can we can all see it because I don't think I've ever seen it. <sighs> I will stop yawning one day, I promise. Um, the next one is a bike ride in the new forest. Uh, we recently got a bike rack. Uh, Oni puts three bikes on there. But Alberts can still go in the back of the car and as Phil is working Monday to Friday I am totally up for doing some bike rides in the forest it's gonna be a great exercise for me I am trying to lose some weight um that I put on um from the egg donation and then something very similar that I did last year um that wasn't quite egg donation um and yeah I'm trying to lose that now because our journey is over in that area and I really want to lose the weight uh sandcastle competition we did this a couple of years ago we had the best time so sandcastle competition again and we're very lucky we live near the coast of the source of sand uh make and fly kites we've technically already done that uh so we can tick that off i might change that to just fly kites so we can fly kites again make homemade lemonade Ooh, i've never done it and the kids are really excited to try that bake cookies um i've found some recipes for Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I'm so tired. Um, for low calorie cookies, low carb cookies as well. And I'm gonna try those out. Bessie is our resident baker, so I think she will love those. Go camping. Ah, that's gonna be a couple of that's gonna be a couple of videos along that theme coming up in an um by, by the end of the month. Um uh, because we are going on a home ed camp. It's only one night. Uh, but uh, we have been camping before, but not since the pandemic. So Albert probably doesn't remember going camping and we're really excited about that. Watch the sunset. It was reasonably easy, but I want us all to do it as a family. 
go to Stonehenge. We've never been to Stonehenge and I've just found out that we are Lifetime National Trust members and we can go on our National Trust membership to Stonehenge for free as part of our part of our subscription, as part of our Lifetime membership. So I've got to add that in, but I think Phil will want to do that with us. Uh, MEL Science Boxes. If you've watched our previous video to this, you will see that we've already started doing that one because Charles took over the channel and did an MEL Science Box and it's just him on the video, no one else. Um, there is another one of those videos coming up um, at the beginning of next month, so do check that out. And there'll be a couple more of those. Um, I'm not doing any paid sponsorship stuff at the moment apart from that, um, so feel free to check. I'd love it if you check those out. Um, it would be um, awesome if you did them too. And I would love to, if you make a video doing your science experiments or an Instagram post or anything like that, or a Facebook post, please tag me in them or join our Facebook group um, and, and then send, share some pictures because I would love to see what you get up to um, with your kids. Uh, go on a treasure hunt. Uh, this will probably be me making the treasure hunt and then we go and do it. <sighs> Paint and hide rocks. We have done this before, but we never end up hiding them or we find them and then we rehide them. <laughs> Um, so that's going to be on our list is, uh, yeah, getting some, I'm going to try and get some nice flat rocks and then we're going to paint and hide them. Not sure where we'll hide them yet, but maybe like on one of our usual walk routes and then um, hopefully the people find them. Go stargazing. We did this a few years ago. I think it was during the pandemic. We went up to our horses and we ate dinner in our horse's paddock and we uh, went to do stargazing and we ended up seeing um, a big ring of satellites. Apparently they're Elon Musk's satellites and um it's like a massive ring of like 34 or something like that something some really like amazing number and i was like oh my gosh a shooting star oh my gosh another shooting star following behind it and another one with the exact same distance <laughs> it was like i think those are satellites and we just saw them going round and round it was amazing so i'd love to do that again see if we can spot them again we also uh once spotted the international space station so um i would love to be able to do that again be like look at like hi <laughs> uh, tie-dye t-shirts definitely want to do that reasonably easily easily done as well if you go to any um any shop that does school clothing um like Sainsbury's Tesco's Asda that sort of thing um and buy a pack of three white PE t-shirts they are perfect for tie-dyeing because they're 100% cotton uh create a time capsule I would love to do this um I did a time capsule when I was 10, uh, because it was the millennium, 2000, and I'm pretty sure it's probably somewhere in the loft, but I would love to do one for the kids. Um, and then open it in 10 years time when they are 21, 19 and 16 and um, be like, see what they, and, and one for me and Phil as well, because then we'll be 42 and 40 and be like, what did we think 40 would look like? What did we think that the teenage, our teenage kids, what do you think life would look like in 10 years time? Um, and then look back on it in 10 years time with teen, with teenage and adult children and um, be like, you wrote this when you were a little kid. What did you think life would be like now? So I think that would be really fun. Um, go to the zoo. Again, we'll do that probably before the summer holidays because we get a discounted rate. If you are coming over to this, coming over this way, go to Marwell Zoo, you can get discounted home educators rates. It works at £6 per person. And if you have any children who are, or any adults who are on a um, disability, disability benefit of any kind, then free carers as well, which is super awesome. We have two children who are on DLA, so getting free carers is, is definitely a well-deserved perk. Uh, because we work hard as carer parents, right? Parent carers. Uh, go to the wildlife park. We have been to the wildlife park recently. We have season passes um, and we're just going to keep going. Uh, go to the oceanarium again. Season passes. We're just going to keep going. I haven't been, we haven't been there for a, a couple of months now, but that was a gift from um, for the kids from the aunt and uncle. So we need to uh, build a fort on the trampoline. And we've done this a few summers. All of the duvet covers we own, all of the pegs we own and making a fort on the trampoline. The kids love it. Um, so we've got to do that again. Spend a whole day in the forest, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. And then make shell jewellery. Those are the things on our list. So as I said, I have included a link in the description for you to print out your own copy. Um, let me know what you get up to. I would love to hear what your plans are. Do you hibernate in the summer like we do, home educators? Um, or are you are you watching and you're not a home educator? Do you, this is the only chance you get to have all those sorts of fun stuff because your kids are usually in school. Um, I know most of my viewers are home educators and homeschoolers so um um yeah like you might um you you might be a bit more like me and my kids and our um and yeah are um are hibernating 
I love it. I'm doing things. I have uh, put some other stuff on here. I didn't read them and I'll quickly just say to them rather than go through them all. Go to pick your own. So pick, pick your own fruit, make schmores, uh, send a postcard, go to a fairground, go crabbing. Those are the other things that are on the list that I missed out. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you get up to and I will see you very soon for another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It makes me super happy when you do.